Hey guys, Matt Johnson here and today we are going to take a look at my top picks for dive watches under $200. Now, time's a ticking, so let's get stuck in. Hey guys, Matt Johnson here. Happy Wednesday, congratulations on making it halfway through the week and welcome to my YouTube channel, Beer and Watchers, where every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I bring you the very best in watch news, watch reviews and of course, craft beer brews. Now, if this is your first time to my channel, please do consider subscribing, become a part of my Beer and Watchers family and also click on the bell button up there to the right, the search bar so that you get notified every time I release a new video. Now, on my last episode on Monday, I showed you this can of beer. It appears that I was so excited about doing the Swiss watch giveaway that I forgot to actually crack and taste test the beer. So this is exactly the same can. Today, before we get into my top dive watch picks under $200, we're going to crack this, give it a taste and tell you what I think. Now, this beer is the Hacker Pshaw. I don't know. Is that how you pronounce it? It's a Munchner, Munchner, I can't pronounce any other stuff on this can, gold traditional Munich filtered lager, yum, yum, and yum. What can I tell you? It's brewed in Germany, obviously, because it's Munich lager. It is 5.5% alcohol volume, comes in a 500 milliliter can, exported all over the world, direct from the brewery in Germany, and if you want to check these guys out, you can go to their website, and I'll try and pronounce it, but uh, probably Probably easier that you just type this in. It's www.hacker dash pshaw.com. I'm sure I actually messed that up. Pshaw. That's probably what it sounds like when you crack the can. <coughs> yep, there you go. Pshaw. <laughs> Cheers, everybody. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day, and congratulations on making it halfway through the week. Let's see what it tastes like. Ooh, that's strong, guys. Do I like it? Yeah, not bad. This might be for you, so go check them out. The website I'll put in the description below this video. Cheers. Now, today on my wrist, I'm wearing my Von Vogel Design watch. I designed this myself on Von Vogel Design. I'll put a link in the description below this video to their website. Go check them out and see how fun it is to design your own watch online. Now, today I want to show you my top picks on Amazon for dive watches under $200. First of all, they had to have the ability to go underwater to 200 meters, 660 feet, and that is actual water resistance, not that fake water resistance that we all think we have, but we don't have. And part of that is that they have to have a screw down crown. Now, let's be honest, not a lot of us are going to 200 meters or 660 feet underwater, but it is kind of cool to have that on the watch. Also, they have to be under $200. I wanted to make sure we were really pushing that $100 to $200 mark. So all of the watches do that except for one. And all of these prices are in US dollars. I'll put links in the description below this video to all of these watches on Amazon and you can click on those links to get these great deals. I'll put links in the description below this video not only to the .com Amazon but also to the .ca Amazon as well. I've talked enough, let's swing the camera around and let's take a look at my top picks on Amazon for dive watches under $200. Okay, so here we are on my list. Now, I've got to be honest with you, there are eight watches in this list. I was going to make it five, but there were just too many good ones to choose from. Now, I'm going to try and go through these watches a little bit faster today so that I'm not oh, boring you too much, you know, but these are great watches and stick around because top of the list up here, not necessarily top of the list, but top Top of the physical list on my computer is a Swiss watch, a Swiss dive watch for under $200, which is amazing. Anyway, the first one on my list here, uh, no surprise, is a Citizen. Now, you know, there's just great watches out there. Citizen, Seiko, always great watches. And this one is a Citizen Men's BN0151 09L Promaster Professional Diver. It's got over 2,000 five-star reviews. So I think that the people can't be wrong. It's coming in right now at a discount. There is $152 US off this 
uh, watch, which is about 43% of the actual total watch price, means that it's coming in at $197.98. So it just pips under the $200 mark, and that includes free shipping with Prime um, on Amazon. Don't forget, with Amazon, you also get free returns as well. So you can get it home, check it out. If you love it, keep it. If you don't, send it back. Anyway, here it is. I chose this one for a few reasons. First of all, it meets that 200 meter or 660 feet uh, necessity that I have for the dies watches on this list. It also comes in at $200. This is a stunning watch. It's got a rotating bezel on there. It's got a screw down crown. So it's got actual water uh, resistance. Uh, that's at the four o'clock position, kind of like a Seiko SKX. It it's got loom all over this watch, date complication at the four o'clock position, rubber strap, stainless steel uh, case, just a stunning watch. It's got a um, screw down uh, case back, at least I think it's screw down. Um, maybe not, maybe a pop off case back. No, it would have to be a screw down for it to be water resistant. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a Japanese quartz, 48 millimeter, so it's huge. Um, water resistance, as I said, 200 meters, molded polyurethane band, and it's got the Eco Drive technology inside, which means that the movement, the battery in this, is actually powered by the sun. So there's no need to ever replace the battery. How cool is that? 12 millimeter case thickness, so not too bad actually. 19 millimeter bandwidth and a mineral crystal glass on this. It's got all the functions that you would want out of a dive watch. Never change a battery again because it's powered by the sun and it comes in at under $200. So that's my first pick for real proper dive watches. Again, I'll put a link in the description below this video to that Amazon link. Click on that and it will get you to this deal. Okay, now the next one on my list here is a Nordica. Many people don't know about this brand. Nordica Men's NAPTD S902 Tarpoon Dive Blue and Silver Silicon Strap Watch. Wow, what a mouthful. Now, um, this one also has a Japanese quartz movement. It's got a 24 millimeter strap, so it's big. It will fit up to an eight inch wrist. It's got the Nordica style flag at the six o'clock position, the Nordica logo at the 12 o'clock position. Mineral glass again on this one, 45 and a half millimeter case. So it's a big boy. 200 meters again of water resistance, 660 feet, screw down case back, screw down crown, luminous hands and indices, bi-directional rotating bezel. This one's got it all. It also has an NDL limit chart there right on the strap. You see that right there. And NDL stands for no decompression decompression no it doesn't it stands for no decompression limit and essentially that is the amount of time that a diver can spend underwater without decompressing as he comes back to the surface let's take a look around the watch if we can little 3d spin around the watch here Whoop, there we go. Stainless steel case there, as you can see. It looks like it's got a helium release valve at the nine o'clock position. Uh, tang buckle in stainless steel, screw down solid stainless steel case back. There is the screw down crown with kind of a little red ring on there. Um, and uh, looks very, very cool. I like that a lot. This one is coming in at $145 with free prime delivery right now. And um, if you want to get this watch, I'll put a link again in the description below this video. A couple of other things I can tell you about it before we carry on. It's a 13 and a half millimeter case thickness, so a bit thicker than the uh, Citizen Eco Drive. It's got the date function on there, and um, it says here water resistance depth of 330 feet. But I actually know that's not the case because uh, it says here 200 meter water resistance so that'd be 660 feet so bit of a strange one that the next one on my list of divers under 200 dollars is this one and i like the look of this one a lot this is the pantor nautilus gmt now um the gmt hand right there is the little orange and white hand it's a fourth hand on the watch 
What is that for? Well, if you're not familiar with GMTs, essentially a GMT hand is a, a GMT is a 24 hour dial, which serves as a second time zone setting on the watch. Also, take a look at the case on this. Can we say a Seiko Turtle, anybody? Very similar, right? Doesn't have the crown down at the four o'clock position. It's at three, but it definitely has some Seiko Turtle vibes going on there. Now, this one, in my opinion, is a beautiful watch. It's got a rubber band. It's got a Swiss quartz movement inside, so a little bit of Swiss going on for only $169.99, including free shipping with Prime. So I think that's a pretty incredible deal. As we can see on the front here, it's got 200 meters of water resistance, 660 feet. Look at that screw down crown with the logo kind of engraved on the crown there. There's the loom, loom for days on this. It's certainly got loomed hour uh, markers, minute, our hand. It's also got loom on the GMT hand and it's also got loom on the little lollipop on the second hand as well. So you're going to see this one in the dark and underwater. It comes in a few different style variations. I kind of like this one, uh, but it also comes with the Pepsi bezel on there. It's got a black bezel. Um, there's the Batman bezel and there's just the silver bezel. So a few different options to choose from. It's got a date window between four and five, 12.6 millimeters thick, so not too bad. 45 millimeter case, so nice and chunky, 2018 production, so only a couple of years old on this. That is a good one. Again, link in the description below this video to that deal if you want to pick it up. The fourth watch on our list today is this one. This is the Momentum Unisex M1 Splash Watch. Again, 200 meters of water resistance, 660 feet. Do I have to keep saying that? I think you understand that by now, right? This one's pretty crazy for a couple of reasons. First of all, Momentum watches are based in Canada. Not only in Canada, but Vancouver, where I'm from. So that's kind of cool. And also, look at the amount of colors you can get this watch in. It is insane. Look at this. I'm not going to go through them all, but we got lavender, we got black, blue, gray, khaki, we got lime green, ew, we got uh, hot pink, we got orange, um, there's kind of this light pink there. Well, I guess I am going through them all. White, you get the idea. Yellow, it comes in all kinds of different colors to match your outfit and your mood. It's got a rubber strap, it's a quartz movement, it's white, it's got luminous. Uh, markers on there. It's got a, it's a 316L stainless steel, hand assembled and tested in North America. Again, Vancouver. It comes with a mineral crystal, but you can upgrade to a sapphire crystal. Band width of 18 millimeters, 11.770 uh, case thickness on this. So the slimmest one of the bunch so far. Also a 38 millimeter case diameter. So the smallest dive watch on the list so far. It's got anti-reflective uh, coating on there and the 660 feet with the screw down crown and also raised numbers, applied numbers on the dial. So I think that's a pretty good deal at $155 plus free shipping. Aren't these amazing deals guys? Now we're halfway through the list so let's move on quickly to the next one on the list. Now this one is a little bit of an anomaly because it drops way under the $200 mark at only $60.10. Uh, yeah, you heard me say that right. $60.10. This one is the Invicta Men's Pro Diver. Now, I've put the Pro Divers on my channel before. I'm a big fan. Um, they're such good watches with such good specs for not a lot of money. Now, again, I've mentioned before on my YouTube channel that I'm not a big fan of Invicta, personally. I think they're a little bit gaudy and oversized, but the Pro Divers seem to be a little bit nicer, a little bit cleaner, a little bit more sophisticated, and they've got great specs. I mean, look at this. 43 case diameter, 12 millimeters thick. Look at the red there. I have a Seiko SKX 007 modded with a red bezel and red dial uh, on stainless steel. Looks very similar to this. Luminous hands and our markers. It's got the Japanese quartz movement. It's got these 316L stainless steel on this. 
200 meters of water resistance, unidirectional rotating bezel, suitable for professional diving, comes with a three-year limited manufacturer warranty. I mean, all this going on, date window at the three o'clock position with a Cyclops magnifier. Really, really incredible, incredible watch for the money. Lockdown deployment clasp there, screw down signed crown. It's got a 22 millimeter band width, so it's gonna be nice and easy to change the band on this. 12 millimeters thick and um, yeah I think that's pretty much it this is a beautiful watch and only $60 guys so again I'll put a link in this to this in the description below make sure you jump on this if you want one because that is a stunner especially in that red you can get these pro divers in lots of plain colors like black and blue but that red is something very very special I like it a lot moving along on our list we're getting into this guys we're almost there so hang with me because don't forget the Swiss ones coming at the end well, it had to be here. It's an Orient. Now, I love Orient watches. I only own one. I've got the Orient Bambino Generation 2. Um, love it. Orient make their own in-house movements, kind of like Seiko does. They're like Seiko's cheaper uh, cousin. Uh, just as good, but more cost effective. And this one is the Orient Ray Raven 2 automatic orange dial men's watch. Um, and I love this one because this isn't automatic. It's not a quartz. Uh, you can see that it's kind of cool. It's got the orange uh, dial. It's got the black bezel. Uh, we've got a day and date complication at the three o'clock position. So that's very nice. We've got loom there on the hour markers. I also believe on the hour and minute hand and on the end of the second hand as well, although they're kind of in a pink, which is a little bit different. We've got a 42 millimeter case on this, 13 millimeter case thickness, 22 millimeter bandwidth, so um, gonna be nice and easy to change that out. Again, day, day, hour, minute, and second hand, 200 meters uh, or 660 feet of actual water resistance because again, it is a screw down crown on this. We've got crown guards there next to the crown. Um, just a beautiful, classic, dive watch very very nice no nonsense packaging on this as is with all orient watches but does the business and comes in at only 163 dollars and 90 cents with free shipping so these are always great options and if you don't know anything about orient watches or if you haven't looked them up yet or you don't own one i suggest taking a look you can just go on amazon and type orient watches i will put a link again in the description below to this one because i think that is a beauty. We've got only two more on our list here, guys. The next one, well, this is interesting. I found this one on Amazon. Um, it's a Torquemeister automatic. It's a thousand meter dive watch. This one, first of all, automatic, so not a quartz, which is cool. It's got a helium release valve at the nine o'clock position. It's got the screw down crown with crown guards at the four o'clock position, kind of like a Seiko SKX. It's got the date window at the three o'clock position. It's got HMS style, hour, minute, second hands. It looks like it's got a lot of loom on there. In fact, yep, there's the loom shot. Look at that. Loom for days on that thing loomed hour markers hour minute hand fully loomed uh, lollipop on the second hand loomed and the dot at the uh, marker at the 12 o'clock position all loomed that comes in at only 139 dollars with free shipping which to me seems like an incredible deal for this watch it's got a polyurethane strap let's take a little look at the watch there it's kind of got that classic old school vintage kind of cool diver look about it um, screw down solid stainless steel case back on that very, very nice looking watch. I've actually not heard of Torpmeister myself, um, but I like the look of this a lot, actually. It's very unusual. It's got an automatic movement. Not sure what it is, but 21 joules in that movement. Unidirectional rotating bezel, special coded luminous hands. It's got a case thickness of 14 0.4 millimeters and a case size of 46 millimeters. Yeah, it says here that it's water resistant 100 bars, thousand meters three thousand two hundred and eighty feet which is nuts let's be honest none of us are going to over three thousand feet underwater it's got a sapphire glass on this as well um high quality diver strap with arm extension on there and here's a few more specs 22 millimeter bandwidth i think this 
is probably the pick of this video. Tortmeister Automatic 1000 meter dive watch. I'll put a link in the description below this video where you can go and get this deal on Amazon um, if you want to pick one of these up. I think you'll be the talk of the town with that one. The last one on our list now uh, of my top eight picks on Amazon for dive watches under $200 is this one. This is a Swiss made Wenger men's Seaforce 3H Swiss Quartz Black Watch. Again, this is a quartz, not an automatic. The Wenger watches are great watches, good kind of entry level into the Swiss made watches. If you don't own one, it's always kind of cool to look down at the dial and see that Swiss made on the bottom. Just feels kind of luxury. Let's take a 360 look at the watch. 316L brushed stainless steel case, rotating bezel, tang buckle, signed, rubber strap, uh, got the Swiss flag on there, screw down solid stainless steel case back, and we've got a screw down crown with crown guards as well. Quartz, I would say that is a pretty handsome looking watch. For anybody's money, $195 with free shipping on Prime. It does come in a few different designs. This one's on a black rubber strap, as you can see. It also comes with a stainless steel band, but you're gonna pay an extra $30 for that. You can also get it with a blue, uh, dial on stainless steel for 180 that's a really really good deal actually guys uh, you can get a black on black here a chronograph for 260 there's one at 350 there which is way over our price and 221 so there's a few different designs it's got a rotating bezel swiss quartz movement 43 millimeter chaos diameter again 200 meters 660 feet of water resistance sapphire coated mineral crystal on this finally it's got a 12 millimeter case thickness, so uh, nice and slim on the wrist, 21 millimeter band width, and it's a 2019 model. The Wenger Men's Seaforce 3H Analog Quartz Watch. $195, free shipping on Prime, and I'll put that in the description below this video. Well, that's it, guys. Cheers to each and every single one of you. I hope you enjoyed this look at my top eight picks for dive watches on Amazon under $200. I think you'll agree there were some doozies in there, some really, really good ones. I think my top pick has to be that Torquemeister at $139 with a thousand meters over 3,000 feet of water resistance. That is a very, very cool watch and especially for that price, I will be rushing to pick one of those up myself. Again, I'll put the link to that watch and all the others in the description below this video, which will instantly link you to the Amazon deals for these watches. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. It was a long one and you made it. Well, did you make it? Um, let me know in the comments section below if you enjoyed my picks and if there's any other watches, dive watches under $200, they have to be over 200 meters of water resistance. But if there is any that you know of that I didn't include, let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, please do leave me a thumbs up. It means the world to me, guys. And finally, if you're not subscribed, do consider subscribing. You can click on the uh, subscribe link over there to the right of the search bar or below this video if you're watching this on your mobile device. And also don't forget to click on that bell button up there to the right of the search bar. And that will notify you every time I release a new video here on my channel. Have a great week, everybody. We'll see you again on Friday for more watch news, watch reviews, and craft beer brews. If you haven't seen it yet, click on that video right there. That's a good one. And click on the Beer and Watches logo right there to subscribe. Take care, see you Friday, and bye for now.